Now, morning everyone, how, how is everyone? We're back up the garden, I don't know where my dog's gone, Daisy! Oh there she is, just, hello lass, yes we're just, the vital job, two vital jobs today and they're actually cheat jobs. Cheat, <laughs> yeah I'm just going to cheat, I've got to be back for a delivery, but I wanted to come up because I forgot. Well, I'll tell you what I forgot. I forgot to kind of cover that. I put in, I put in a good couple of hours. <laughs> Excuse me, where's my bloody man? As my name's Tony Smith, I'm so excited. This is the garden, my allotment. There, there we go. There's a the cabbage white. I watched Steve Greenside up the other day and he was picking his sweet corn there. I'm just on the brink. Look, it's just starting to kind of go a little bit. So, just waiting, just with her, I even, I mean, I'm like 6'3", I am, I am, <laughs> two not 6'3", they're taller than me, no, I forgot, I forgot to cover that, so I'm going to do a, a total cheat on that, I'm going to, in fact, we'll do it now, shall we, I'm going to take the bottom leaves off these Brussels sprouts and just use this netting on there. I'm going to give it a another blast with a BT. I think it's It's been probably I don't know three weeks four weeks for the BT, but I'll give it another you know, what I mean not not hurt <laughs> But let's get this off first <coughs> These little butterflies as well don't want to spoil that Now there's two things as well, what I've, two things I'm disappointed by. I'm disappointed by these tomatoes. They just, or maybe, I just don't know if I should have done them way, way earlier for outside, but they don't seem to be kind of, I don't know, not happy with them. But I'm really not happy. This is something else that we'll do another video on. The raspberries. The raspberries are little, they're not, you kind of pull them off very nice and they don't taste very nice. They're not like that kind of raspberry hit. They're a bit like bleh. And I've kind of wasted all that ground over there with raspberries. So I want you to let us know, am I doing something wrong with the raspberries? But as you can see, I'm doing nothing wrong with the Brussels sprouts this year anyways. So, oh, got the bricks, clips and everything. So we'll get that. Oh, they're just growing bigger than me. They're looking all right, mind you. Do you mean? I mean, they've been covered, and the BT, and not one kind of nibble. But I just want to smarten up the bottom as well. But let's get this cheap bed done first. Oh, you may recall that it was some ridiculo and I need another water on it mind you give it a good thing the pak choy and I, I, I've been up I've been awake since half bloody four this morning had a headache for some reason I think I was eating too much cheese at late at night and I could have just used that one couldn't I Anyway, <laughs> just could have just took that over there and just there, kind of. That's probably a better option, isn't it? I need to get in there, anyways. That's my excuse. See, I was still probably too tired when I was thinking about this, but I'll just put that over there, take them leaves off as well. It's a bit too small to be honest that but anyway I'll clear this while I'm here <laughs> clean them this bed up but there's a couple of big slugs there which have done some damage so I'm gonna take can you see that right into this that was gonna be one of me sauerkraut ones there's another little one here gonna 
stick this back so just this bed is a tad bigger and I can just push it right in it's like decorating your house you know when you <laughs> when you clean up a bed get it all nice right then so again I ain't going for the bonniest netting cover but just to keep things off because I'll probably be eating these pretty quickly hopefully there we go that's not working put the wrong colour <laughs> don't know what happens put the green system on oh it's on man I just always like to give about a week of good water for anything new just to make sure you know what I mean because this weather is so unpredictable even if it rains tidy up these bottom leaves and I'll move on to the big job So there you go, I've finished that. Give a nice little water there. I've actually popped in some slug pellets as well, just to be on the safe side. I've seen one was nibbled and I know it's not slugs. So, but I've had five minutes break there because me, Paul, my friends come up. Hello, Paul, hello, yes. You've been we're getting some veg there and things like that. So now I'm going to tackle that. Can you see that? I'm going to tackle that and get it cut. Now this is my chard bed and if you remember anyone who was last year, it grew too big and I had to use a chain, like a, a big hacksaw to cut it off. So I've got that chard coming there and I've got some over there as well. But I want to, I'm going to pick a few leaves, the, one, the nicest ones I can, and then I'm going to cut it. So there's the odd plant in here that I can get the leaves and we'll have this tonight I've told you how I cook it, sort it garlic, a little bit of chilli and then some goat's cheese there's actually not that many leaves or there's a plant see so there's not that much to be honest there but hopefully I'll try and get some more because I'm on teas tonight and that's not enough <laughs> right I'm going to get this sorted watch this so I want an easy way of cutting <laughs> well like I say it took us by surprise the last time and it was too hard to, so I'm just going to dig it and rip it rip it now by all accounts you can leave it again and grow like cut it back and then grow it again but I want this bed to be honest I've already got that bed in seconds there you go so that's all done there now we'll go I'll have a look in the polytunnel are you all right there lad you're not yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, timing's good isn't it <laughs> just have a little look I might put them I mean, what you call it's out my Nero's is there a decent size and then actually there's bloody caterpillar poo on them right get them not them yet Get these in, I think. Look, as you see, there has been a little caterpillar there, I thought. I'm just explaining to Paul there uh, about the, hot, the the benefits of the Hori Hori, and I think there's, some, there's going to be a purchase soon. <laughs> so I'm going to put probably get them all, well, see, two abreast. We'll see how that goes. So I think, as you know, what time it is, it's a good time <laughs> to think about subscribing. Look at man, you get to see me sweating like a bull here. And Daisy, who doesn't seem to be doing much work, it's only not last, yes. But if you subscribe, it costs you nothing and you just, you get to see what's going on in the garden as much as I can. Do you know what I mean? It's quite often sometimes. That would be fantastic. And hit the thumbs up, that would be lovely. And I'll see you again.
good at fowls. Oh, I just, I just cut the weeds underneath and leave the root in, yeah. kills it, and uh, I need to give that a water. There we go, nice little water. I'm, uh, I'm quite impressed with what I've getting done again today, you know. So I will net this, but what I'll do is I'll give it a little BT spray now, maybe net it in the morning. Because the, the pigeons will not eat this air, uh, surely not. There we go then, sorted. I'm quite pleased now, I'm kind of getting for this second, for this kind of second coming. What, what Steve likes to say is like the, the, like the second spring, I'm kind of, I'm getting on top. Well, I've got all the time in the bloody world, haven't I? You know what I mean? So, that right, dears? Things I've got, let's just have a little, just to see what, I want to plant some more chard, to be honest. But I've got the igloo and the rab broccoli to go. I've got that, that's that purple, the chard. And actually, this is me, Cabbage Durham early that I'm not even planted out, man. Yeah. Right then, look after yourselves. Take good care.